Do you know spiders? Yeah, I'm fascinated by them, but also terrified. So here are a few of the deadliest spiders and how they would kill you. Ouch, why would you do that? Let's start with this one. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider. This 3 to 4 inches long bulky spider is pound for pound, arguably the single most dangerous spider on earth. It lives in and around Sydney, Australia. While most spiders run away when you stomp your foot, this dude stands its ground and shows its fangs. Yeah, it lives in burrows, sometimes literally in people's backyards, lined with silk trap wires. It's like an extended sensory organ. The spider sits inside, reading vibrations through the ground. It knows exactly where you are before you even see the hole. And if it bites, oh boy. Its venom contains a neurotoxin called this, and this toxin causes a massive uncontrolled release of neurotransmitters across your nervous system. Your heart rate, breathing, sweating, and muscle control go completely high wire. It's like every signal in your body is suddenly being set at maximum power, causing seizures, respiratory failure, and circulatory collapse. You can die within minutes if you don't get the antivenoms. Wait. Next is the Brazilian wandering spider. And this thing is huge. <laughs> That's what she said. No, no, don't even make that joke. It's, it's no, okay, no. Here, hold this one. Ow, fuck, no, not again. Two inches body length and leg span can reach seven inches with a world record as the most venomous spider on earth. You know you have got a problem on your hand. Also the problem isn't just the venom, it's the wandering part. It doesn't stay in a web because its body is covered in tiny sensory hairs, so sensitive they can detect air movement smaller than one tenth the width of a human hair. It reads the environment without needing a web, sensing every step you take long before you see it. So this thing rooms the forest floor at night and hides during the day, in boots, in clothes, and famously in bushes of bananas. Its venom causes intense burning pain, sweating, and muscle spasm, with severe symptoms like high blood pressure, rapid heart rate, vomiting, vision issue, and also it comes with a weird, twisted side effect for the guys. Priapism, that is a painful, very long-lasting erection that can cause permanent damage. So yeah, it hurts in more ways than one. Black Widows The Black Widow are not aggressive, but their venom is one of the most refined neurotoxin blends in nature. A single bite releases a chemical that disrupts nerve communication throughout the body. Muscle cramps, the chest tightens, and the entire system becomes overloaded with uncontrolled signals. The pain is so bad, it's often mistaken for a heart attack. It rarely kills healthy adults nowadays, because we have medicine, but without it, yeah. One surprising detail sets widows apart, spider venom did not evolve just once. Different spider families developed their own chemical cocktails independently. Black widow's venom is part of an evolutionary branch specialized in affecting vertebrates. While other spiders rely on enzymes, widows build toxin that targets nerves with extreme precision. Next, six eye sand spider. The six-eye sand spiders is an ambush predator, built for deserts. It lives in the deserts of southern Africa, and it buries itself under thin layers of sand and waits absolutely still for hours. And again, their venom didn't originally evolve to kill, it evolved to digest. Spiders are external digesters, they turn prey into soup and slurp it up. So if it bites a human, it basically starts liquefying you from the inside out, destroying blood vessels and causing widespread tissue death. And listen, no confirmed human bites exist, but mm. laboratory tests show the potential to be one of the most dangerous spiders' venom. This spider represents a lineage that traces back to some of the earliest land predators. Spiders evolved before flowers, before forests, before modern ecosystems. Their ancestors hunted in a world of moss and giant arthropods. The six-eyed spider still looks like something from that ancient environment. Next is the jumping spider. Trust me, listen, jumping spiders are not deadly to humans. I know, they are small, curious, and visually impressive. They also rely on accuracy rather than venom power, and their bites are harmless to humans. What makes them fascinating is the way they see the world. Jumping spiders have telescopic retinas, their front-facing eyes contain layered lenses and move internally to scan surroundings without shifting their heads. They judge distance using colors rather than depth triangles, and they see ultraviolet wavelengths invisible to the human eye. 
and their vision allows them to leap many times their body lengths with precision. How do they do it? They use a unique hydraulic system, rapidly bumping blood into their legs to extend them with incredible speed. A hunting strategy based entirely on accuracy instead of toxicity. And they are my favorites. Really, spiders are fascinating creatures. Who, who can kill you, of course.